All right, so what I'm doing here, this is a beams work. Um, it's a five foot light, I think. It extends out to six feet. Um, so it was on a six foot. It was actually on this uh, 210 gallon bow front. Um, the lights got, the LEDs got damaged um, due to just use, I think. Um, you can see the board here. A lot of build up there on all of them. Uh, there's some of the LEDs that still work, but not enough to really light up the tank. So it's just not worth keeping. So I did go ahead and strip it. Um, so I, you had to actually, I had to pop all of these uh, magnifiers, the diffusers, out uh, of the slides here. As you can see, this one managed to come out, but I did cut my finger in the process. So popping them out is probably better. I managed to pop this one out sideways, but uh, out of there, but out of the track, but not really worth the uh, <laughs> potential damage to yourself. So I pulled those out. Then I had to unscrew um, all of the boards. Uh, from the slide um, those are all of the screws there's quite a few of them fortunately I have a, a drill so they they come out relatively quick it's only a couple of twists um, so now it's a vacant uh, area here I don't know exactly how I'm gonna work this out because uh, ultimately what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it into a DIY LED I've done a couple of these and they come out really well um, we'll see how this one comes out. There's a lot of cleanup I have to do to it. And you can see the buildup and stuff. You, there's a lot of cleanup I got to do to it before I actually install anything. Um, this is the other end. Um, I'm going to leave the switches here because um, they do work. They worked beforehand. I, I assume they, they, they did as far as I could tell. Um, the power cords, um, I'm going to pop them out. What I'll do is I'll leave these um, holes vacant for the power, power supplies of the power lines um, from the lights I'm going to put in it. I'll run those through, but I'm not going to keep these. I could because I do have the power supplies for this, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure the, uh, I'll check the power supplies, but I'm pretty sure the power um, from those power supplies is too much for the LEDs that I'm going to use. Um, so we'll see how it goes, and as I go here, I will add to the video just so Everybody can see how exactly I'm building this. Uh, but it's just kind of give it an idea of what to do uh, when you get a light that kind of burns out. Rather than buying a new one, um, you can kind of salvage it. Uh, you can, you know, use it and make it, make your own uh, light out of it. And it works pretty well. Um, so we'll see how this one goes. This is a little different because this one didn't have, doesn't have the... Uh, clear or opaque uh, plastic that slides in like some of the single or most of the single ones that you buy they have a single uh, shoot like this not a double shoot um, and they have a clear that you can slide out of these little uh, grooves here and you put in your new lights and then you can slide that back in in this case these uh, brackets here with the uh, diffusers were was on there um, which I'm not going to use those, so I'm probably going to have to find something that I can put in here um, to put back over this whole thing. So we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, I mean, ultimately, I use waterproof LEDs, but um, just to help diffuse it um, and also just to protect the LEDs and the inside of this from getting uh, built up with calcium or whatever may else happen, um, I just want to see if I can find something to to fill this up with. But we'll see, and I'll keep you guys updated.